The following comes from a paper written by Father Gabriele Amorth, the late exorcist of Rome. The question is asked frequently, and is stimulated by the messages of Our Lady of Medjugorje, who often explicitly said, Satan wants to prevent my plans. Satan is strong and wants to undermine God's plans. Lately, we cannot hide it, we have all had a great disappointment, due to the cancellation of Pope John Paul II's trip to Sarajevo. We fully understand the reasons, the Holy Father did not want to expose the immense crowd that would have gathered to the dangers of armed aggression, we also had the unexpected events that could have been created if the crowd had panicked. But there was a big disappointment. First of all for the Pope himself, who was so keen on this journey of peace, then for the populations who awaited it. But, we cannot deny it, our hope was nourished by the message of August 25, 1994, in which Our Lady joined us in prayer for the gift of the presence of my beloved Son in your homeland. And she continued, I pray and intercede with my Son Jesus so that the dream that your fathers had come true. Is it possible that the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, joined to ours, have not had an effect? Was it possible that this intercession was ignored? I believe that in order to answer, it is necessary to proceed with the reading of that same message, Satan is strong and wants to destroy hope. But in short, what can Satan do? The devil has two very specific limits to his power. The first is given by the will of God, who does not leave the guide of history to anyone, even if he implements it while respecting the freedom he has given us. The second is constituted by the consent of man, Satan can do nothing if man opposes him, today he has so much strength because it is men who consent, listen to his voice, as his ancestors did. To be clearer, we bring some closer examples. When I commit a sin, I definitely break God's will for me, for the devil it is a victory, but it is a victory obtained through my fault, through my consent to an act contrary to the divine will. Even in great historical events the same thing happens. We think of wars, we think of persecutions against Christians, of genocides, let's think of the mass atrocities committed by Hitler, Stalin, Mao. In the book of the prophet Jeremiah we see it has always been human consent to give the devil the upper hand over God's will, which is a will for peace and not for affliction. And God does not intervene, wait. As in the parable of the good wheat and the weeds, God awaits the time of the harvest, then he will give each one what he deserves. But isn't all this a defeat of God's designs? No, it is the way in which the plans of God are realized, respecting the free will. Even when he seems to win, the devil is always defeated. The clearest example is offered to us by the sacrifice of the Son of God, there is no doubt that the devil worked with all his strength to reach the crucifixion of Christ, he obtained the consent of Judas, the Sanhedrin, Pilate. And then? What he believed was his victory turned out to be his decisive defeat. God's plans are unfailingly fulfilled, in the broad lines of history, which is the history of salvation. But the ways followed are not what we think, my ways are not your ways, the Bible warns us in Isaiah. God's plan is implemented with respect for the freedom that God has given us. And it is with our personal responsibility that we can make God's plan fail in us, his will that all be saved and no one perish. Therefore I will be the one to pay the consequences, even if the plan of God, begun with the creation, will infallibly reach its purpose. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you.